secret breakfast. Bread and banana. As a breakfast for champions. Yeah, most likely. So it's been an interesting year, 2023, but I think my goal before the season was to be where I needed to be in order to win Paris in 2024. I wish I did the race a little bit better in short course and sort of happy with being ranked number one in the PTO by the end of the year. So it's been an okay year, interesting one, but I wouldn't say that I've been performing super well. It's probably like a good to have this dip in a pre-Olympic year and then getting the hunger up in order to do the job now, uh, going into the next eight and a half month of training before uh, Paris. So now we are heading down to the lab, third day of testing. Today is the run test, good so far. So hopefully the third one is equally as good. So tomorrow we are heading to Tenerife and Morocco for the next month. So around in the lab before coming back again in the lab in six weeks time to see how the training then have been. But I um, feel I'm within reach to where I need to be in Paris, but I definitely need to be much more sort of dialed in for one distance when I'm standing in Paris. Over the next nine months now, I'm only doing three races before that race, Abu Dhabi, Yokohama and Cagliari. So it, that gives me a lot of time to just get the training done and yeah, making sure that my swim and run is better than what it has been this year. So now we're heading in for a DEXA scan. So scanning the body, looking at the fat percentage and bone density and getting that compared to the test results we're doing in the lab so we can both see how my body composition is when I'm performing at my best. The transition back to short course and world triathlon series has been okay, but I don't think the reason for my sort of poor results this year comes from the Ironman racing last year because I was almost racing better first short course back in Bermuda last year and also in uh, Abu Dhabi uh, last year. So I don't think it's a long course that's been the issue. It's more like the flow and the training and probably had too many balls in the air at the same time to, to dial in for one distance. Uh, like kept racing a little bit of PTO races this season and balancing back and forth on the different bikes and uh, also came into the season there yeah, with not the best winter and I think that has been more the struggle but uh, yeah some some good takeaways from the season like the fourth place in super sprint world championship in Hamburg which is maybe not the distance that I prefer the most compared to an Olympic distance but still like I was up there against the best guys in the world. Yeah, some okay races, I would say, over sprint and Olympic distance, but not, not where I need to be for next year. But hopefully with a proper winter now, a good spring, and then, yeah, keeping the flow going into July, uh, it should be enough to put me in a position to fight for the win in Paris. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I guess the low was maybe feeling that I came into the season with sort of a poor rhythm, like three times sort of periods with thickness going into the first race of Abu Dhabi, where I ended up pulling out of the race before. Uh, I didn't even travel down to Abu Dhabi because of the fitness was so off where I thought it needed to be in order to yeah, be competitive. But then I was sort of able to come back into decent shape. Hmm. Fitness score. 92 so as i already know the numbers of my fitness we don't really have to do the run test the best moment i would say maybe were like up in formo and looking at how the numbers were and also how i was improving on the bike power wise and also how i felt like riding on the road bike technically and power wise and also how strong i felt i was ending up being of course winning pto singapore finally and also securing the ranking for the year was uh, fantastic but also, it it hurt quite a lot to lose oh. to Jan in uh, in Milwaukee at the PTO US Open. So they were maybe evening out those two races and the feeling from those. Also, after I'm finished with Idris Kajan, so it's good to play next So going into Paris now, we will have a little bit more time at home compared to what we did last year. So we had two and a half weeks now at home. It's been sort of just building up. We haven't done too much intensity and. That was also sort of the surprising thing we saw in the lab now, that my view to max is still quite strong. Like it was 
86 point something on both the bike and on the run and also the numbers were sort of up there on the swim in Vita Max. Threshold wise good across all three so we are now yeah home having like a base here working with Orian Matsen in the pool uh, to try to lift up the swim level because I think the swimming will be more or I need to be back in better swim shape for next year than what I've been since the last two years. I guess the fans can expect some <laughs> firework next year. Early on, I want to be where I were fitness wise going into Tokyo. Like I felt I was in the shape of my life early on in the season and I hope to be able to fine tune myself to be in shape early. So people might think that I'm too early in a good shape. And of course, like it's going to be important to keep enjoying performance uh, over the next eight and a half months going into the Olympics and yeah, just keeping the process uh, well. <laughs>